Here is a component with a pressure load under the handle surface. The handle is fixed to the board by the bolts. You can open the handle part only and simulate the pressure loads and the bolt fixtures using commands in the software. The software shows the loads and fixtures using symbols. Here, the fixtures are shown as green arrows and the loads are depicted by the purple arrows, in this case a pressure. The user applies loads and fixtures to model faces, edges, and vertices, but the simulation software actually applies them to the nodes of the elements, which you cannot see. What are equilibrium equations? Recall Newton's second law, the sum of all forces equals mass times acceleration. The MA is the inertia term. If loads are applied slowly enough, then inertia can be neglected and we have what is called a static analysis. In a static analysis, the inertia is zero, so the equation is modified to P. The sum of all forces equals zero. The SOLIDWORKS Premium Simulation software is limited to conducting static analysis. If we examine a bar subject to external forces, we see equilibrium has to be maintained or else the bar can accelerate. Therefore, F1 must equal F2. This is the equilibrium equation for this structure. If we cut off a section of the bar, the remaining sections still have to be in equilibrium. However, the external force on the right end must be moved to the cut face to maintain equilibrium. At this point, the force acting on the cut face can be called an internal force. Now the external force must be equal to the internal force. This is the equilibrium equation applied to FEA. The external forces must equal the internal forces. But what are the internal forces? Here we see internal forces expressed as K times U. As we shall see, U is the displacement with length units of distance, and K is the spring constant with units of force per unit length. The spring constant can be derived using the material modulus, also known as Young's modulus E, and some other factors.